Hello, Dr Bridget here with another prescription for success. This week it's about what skills are you lacking? So, what skills are you lacking? Well, there's all sorts of skills, aren't there? There's practical skills, there's thinking skills, there's communication skills. And sometimes we sit here and we think, well, if only I could do that, if only I could do this, then I'd really reach my full potential and get whatever I want for my goals. So apart from this, there's a sort of presupposition in neurolinguistic programming, which says that we have all the resources inside us that we need. And we sometimes forget that and we sort of keep them buried away for whatever reason. Um, so just think that you do actually have all the skills that you need and sometimes it is just about tweaking them, remembering them, getting some little bit more skills, going on courses, whatever. So there'll be some practical skills. So um, just thinking randomly, if you're someone that runs a woodworking business, you might want to go and learn a different skill about something to do with wood. Um, or you might remember that you've actually got a book or a video um, that you've found that actually tells you how to do that. But the ones that I'm particularly interested in, as you'd expect, are thinking and communication skills. So thinking skills. So people often have limiting beliefs and they they think that they're true and they've got them from people around them, from what's happened, but they've got limiting skills. And how would it be if you could actually get empowering um, beliefs um, rather than limiting beliefs? So instead of thinking I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, um, I'm never going to be able to do it, it's um, blaming other people, then how would it be if you could just be totally in charge of the way that you thought? Um, how would it be if you could develop sort of forward facing skills? So, you know, if your goal's over there, you need to be facing that way rather than going, oh, well, I, I don't want that. You, you want to turn around and face that and then get rid of whatever that is so that you can be forward facing. Um, you need to be able to create some positive states and also anchor those positive states so that if things happen around you, you've got that state which you go, wow, you know, I'm fully confident, I believe in myself, I am who I am and that's absolutely fine and you've got that state for yourself. In terms of communication skills, um, I don't know if you know, but the meaning of your communication is the result that you get. So. Um, if you find that you're communicating with people and you're getting a result that coming back at you that you didn't expect, then that's really about you taking charge of that communication and tweaking it so that you change it, become more flexible and become really flexible in your levels of communication so that you can communicate with anyone and get into a rapport with anyone. And um, certainly on the NLP practitioner course we teach people to become really flexible with their communication and to really understand what it is that people are saying at a deep level and um, they say certain things and they may mean something else and we teach people how to recognize that form of communication and how to actually adapt your own communication so that you get what you want um, from a communication perspective it's, it's, it's also about so someone communicates with you and just taking that and becoming really aware of the possibilities within that communication and then using it so that you can communicate back with that person. So there's all sorts of communication skills that you probably have and sometimes life gets in the way and you open your mouth and stuff comes out and it has an effect that's not necessarily what you want. So have a think. You've got your goals. hope you've got your goals. Um, you know who you are and what you want and what skills do you need to add in so that you really fine-tune those things. So practical skills or that maybe you've already got them and you've just forgotten about them. Thinking skills about positivity, looking forward and communication skills so that you can communicate with anyone in any way and, you know, really help them help you to achieve what you and they want. So that would be fab, wouldn't it? Okay, so if I can help in any way with your thinking or your communication skills, I'm not a particularly good wood turner, so I probably can't help you with that, but anything in terms of emotional and um, deeper unconscious mind skills, 
um, I'm the person to come to so um, just get in touch with me uh, via my website and I'll put the links in the blog so yeah think about your skills and start getting them okay take care bye